We're told all the time we need to cut out sugar. Well, yes and no. Yes, to a degree, if you're overeating sugar and you're going over your allotted calories for the day, and then you may want to cut back on the sugar. Yes, if you're not getting that many nutrients, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, you might need to cut back on the sugar. But, how do we do that? Especially in a world where we live, where people are addicted specifically to fizzy drinks, to sodas. Now, I'm just gonna leave diet sodas on the side there because I love diet soda, and aspartame is not gonna make your balls explode. If you've read the article on my site, you will know that. How do we ditch the soda? Because sugar, is, is, it, is it not addictive? Well, you're finding it hard to ditch the sugar. So let that be your answer. You're finding it hard, if you have loads of soda, you're finding it hard to ditch it. One, because you may not want to. Two, because water apparently isn't as nice as soda. And three, because who loves orange soda? k k k Kel loves orange soda. Wait for it. Is it true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. Please, please tell me you know what that's from. If not, sort your life out. Anyway, ditching the soda. There's five steps that you can take in order to really, really ditch the soda. The first one is to simply find a replacement. Having Coke, not full fat Coke, because how much fat is actually in Coke? Check the label and stop fucking saying it's full fat Coke. Full fat Coke, you can swap for diet Coke. Simple, full fat Coke, diet Coke, or zero, whatever one, whichever team you bat for, you can go for that one. You're gonna save a load of calories doing that, especially if you're one of these guys that drinks a can or two a day, or a bottle or two a day, that's cool. Make sure you get your hydration in, swap Coke for Diet Coke, Fanta for Fanta Zero, Sprite for Sprite, see where we're going here? You can swap practically one drink for the diet version. And don't say they don't taste any alike. Well, the diet ones to me taste better because I'm not addicted to sugar like you apparently are. Two, habits. People go to drink as a habit. So being aware of these habits is gonna be key. It's gonna be crucial to you being able to ditch the soda. People on a hot day will go and get the soda. They will go to the refrigerator in the store and grab the soda. Now, that's usually a habit for hydration. Maybe if you had a little bit of seltzer water or something or some fizzy drinks that had simply infused with fruit, something like that, you could ditch and switch that habit. Go and get a different thing for that habit. And also, a big thing for switching that habit around is writing down when you have it. What I actually get clients to do sometimes is I've had people lose over 15 pounds in three weeks whilst they've had a vacation in that time by changing nothing about their diet. All they've done is send me a picture every time they go to eat or drink food or drink whatever you want to call it calories all they do is send me a picture I've set them no guidelines I've told them no limits to what they eat they simply send me a picture and get aware of that habit it's called accountability it kind of works I'm kind of the king of it to be honest number three carry sweetener around with you and by that, get some Truvia, get some Stevia-based sweetener, carry it in your bag. I was on a private island in Croatia, an event called Baby Bathwater recently. And I was then getting known for the guy that has the sweetener. Because people were asking, Ollie, where's the Truvia? Grab him a pill or two, pop up a couple of the pills, some good sugary pills. Then, before you know it, 
you're not going to even realize that you need that sugar anymore. The fourth one is just be aware of marketing. Brands use signaling to your brain, the colors they choose, the smells they have, the messages they send. Most of the people I work with are marketers and they're absolutely amazing at it. But the shame, the shame comes when they fail to realize how much they get marketed on in their health aspect. They follow diets that they've been marketed. They eat foods that they've been marketed. They eat drinks that they've been marketed. Eat drinks, drink drinks that have been marketed. All these things simply because they've been marketed to not because they actually like them, because there's a celebrity endorsing them, because a team has endorsed them, because an athlete has endorsed them. They think, cool, that must be the go-to drink that I need. So they fall for these marketing tactics. And the fifth one, after you've stopped having these sugary drinks, after you've stopped having these full fat Cokes, and you've switched to diet or zero versions, after a month, try them again. See if you think they're too sweet. Just try it, 30 days. Then see if you think they are too sweet. I guarantee you will wonder why you didn't swap in the first place. You want help implementing this? Cool, come and see me. Go over to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. We can chat about this. We can chat about whether it is full fat coke. We can chat about whether you're diet or zero, whatever. Drop me a message and I'll respond within 48 hours. I look forward to talking to you.